Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw after an unbelievable Extreme Rules. I'm Jim S Ventura, <laughs> Jimmy Ventura, in the, <laughs> that's my name, in the booth with me is Fymir and Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello everybody, and we are here another Monday night of the Extreme Rules and I'm expecting a Volcayo free, por favor, free night for me. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I, I never remember my name, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, great. Rick Shamani, I think. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks for it. Uh, there is a name we can't forget. <laughs> and this is Mr. Uh, Jim McMahon, you see. I'm definitely, I've never called myself Jim McMahon when I was doing commentary before. <laughs> uh, so, so that was why it was a hard mistake to make, really, but somehow it happened. But anyway, here's Mr. Jim McMahon. He is the billionaire owner of the JFW, and he's got some words for us after Extreme Rules. I wonder what it'll be about. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's not really stuck his nose in since getting the glorious ones their tail shots uh, a couple of months ago. So uh, yeah, be very very intrigued. He's oh no, well no, of course he did uh, help Night Demon pick the stipulation for last night and headbutted Rick in the process. So yeah, very interested to see what he's got to say. Yeah. And there is the small thing of the division between a uh, claw and stand firm. Yeah. Oh, GFW Universe, what an extreme rules we just had. And fair play to Rick Reckless. I gave him some shit. I stuck the nut, uh, stuck the nut on him. But he came back and he won. Fair and square in the middle of the ring. So fair play, Rick. You deserve to be champ. But I tell you who doesn't deserve to be champ. That goddamn Scouser Hancock. I can't believe it. I found out that Crispy Ice was abducted by two masked men in a stolen car. Now you don't have to be a brain surgeon to put plus two and plus one together and get three or six or something. I don't know. I don't have to ask Dimmy. But I'm pretty sure that was the other Scousers, Steve Murray and Fugonomics. Well, I tell you what, I'm not going to stand for that shit. So, Hancock, get your ass out here, you son of a bitch. God damn it! I thought you Scousers could speak English. What the hell are you on about? Answer me, god damn it! What were you playing at? You and those Scousers, you can't just you can't just come in here and rob people, abduct people, rob title shots, rob titles. God damn it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm not standing for this. Hancock, you came out there 
You robbed the title. You robbed Crispy Eyes. You robbed the title shot. You robbed the title. You're gonna have to defend it now against the Bread Mask. Right now, this second. God damn it. See ya. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, hey. God damn it. No, god damn it. I said now! See ya! <laughs> wow! I am lost at words. <laughs> Serious I, words from, uh, uh, from Hancock there. Yes, yes, what a speech. I was like uh, Martin Luther King level there. <laughs> Uh, pretty, pretty impressive agility getting out of the ring by Jim Swimman at the end, just on a on a side note. Yeah, that was well, very you, impressive, wasn't it? Yeah. When you're trying to run away from a scouser, you know, your body releases more adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. So, yeah, we've got an instant rematch for the Plim Plum Blues Away Championship. That's what I said earlier. That's what I said earlier. There are no rematches, but that's what <laughs> happened when you're a bloody cheater. Yeah, the <laughs> crispy ice as well. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, I hope he's okay. We still don't know uh, if, if Crispy Ice is safe. Maybe we never will. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, what what a rematch as well. <laughs> to be fair, like he shouldn't have been in the match, but excellent performance last night from Hancock. Can he do it again? Yeah. <laughs> We're about to now he has to deal with a very very angry Lebrez mask, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it's not on a Friday night, so will that be a factor? Wow. In extreme prior, rules, yeah. Prior to yeah. the extreme yeah. rules, the cheating was with extreme rules. The solution, extreme rules too. Yeah. I think, I think, you know, Crispy Eyes deserves a chance here to make it a triple threat, but who knows where he is? Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. <laughs> who knows in which forgotten gas station, you know? The other two masked men uh, led uh, him. <laughs> Extreme rules. So if we're lucky, they might fight for 10 plus minutes in the audience. <laughs> but there's, it's not false count anyway. So um, ah. So yeah, that, that's the thing. It's the false count anywhere that gets the uh, the audience for 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute cheater. Disgusting thief. <laughs> Typical scouser. <laughs> but somehow Jim Swimman has got him to keep the title. He's he's not sold it yet. Mm. Do you know what? This is it. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> they go they gave Hancock a chance here and Chan uh, Hancock knows very well how to take any chance. Yeah. Yeah, the other the other day, you know, I was making a sandwich. <laughs> I just started going, hey, 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 to myself, and I thought that would be a really good promo. <laughs> Maybe it was better in my head, but I enjoyed it. Oh no, it was, uh, it was pretty epic. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, honestly, amazing match to kick off Monday Night Claw. Isn't it? Oh, good. yes, yes, very good, very good. The title on the line. Two top contenders, one of them very angry. Title on the line, two top contenders, one of them isn't Volk for Gore. Yes, and I now I know that uh, Tom is also Lebrel Max, so yeah, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this for months now. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he's, he's Mask Man Tom when he comes out. You know, that's what the uh, that's what the uh, announcer says. I think. Because here it's Tom Shears. Clues were there all along. It's it's like one of those that you want to watch back a second time just to see what you mean. <laughs> oh wow, really? On the nineteen, and that's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, Kick offs now. What a match. Hancock off to a nice start. Go for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lazy bastard there. <laughs> instant, instant pin would have been hilarious. <laughs> oh, what a maneuver! Will uh, Will Hancock be as motivated? He's, he's of course not stealing the gold tonight. It's gold that he already owned. <laughs> yeah, but have you ever tried to steal something from a scouser? Also, he didn't have time to sell the belt or uh, melt it, so yeah, he needs to keep it. <laughs> oh, nice bit of cheating there by Hancock. Beautiful, crafty stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my, oh my oh, God. Oh, my 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 God. He's entered in a completely different dimension here. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it will crash the game, oh shit. Oh god, right, oh sorry people, sorry we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got, there's something going wrong. <laughs> Technical <Show me>. difficulties. <laughs> Interdimensional problems there. <laughs> Okay, good, it's okay. <laughs> Seems that the Scouser <laughs> stole the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos. <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Hancock off to, a, off to a good start here. Nothing, nothing else to discuss. Obviously, match only just started. Yeah. Uh, that was beautiful. I did just want to see it forever, but yeah, at the end of the day, if it's going to crash, then it can't, con can't continue, can it? <laughs> It can't be allowed to continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That was amazing. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> he actually got a pin. He could, have, he could have won in the midst of that. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> okay, LeBret Mask eats table and chops. Hancock doing a great job on the outside here. Yeah. Oh, big slam into the steps as well. Oh, oh, but LeBred going for something too slow. Ah, well, it makes sense to stop it then. Thank you, Night Demon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, good then. Yeah, good. Good timing. Oh. Is that enough? Obviously oh, not. That's the one. He can't resist going for these covers, can he, Hancock? Close line of a different kind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. It was pretty hard. Uh, Hancock's quite liking it in the Plim Plom Blues Weight Championship because he's getting to uh, to show off his superior power that maybe wasn't one of his advantages at heavyweight. Also, his favorite thing to do, beat people smaller than him. <laughs> yeah. And this time, and this time there are not kids. <laughs> Massive forearm from uh, LeBred Mask, though. And again. He knocks him to the ground. Yeah, Hancock suddenly struggling. Nice drop kick. 
Incredible. Stray under for a weapon. Oh, has he timed this badly again? He has. Keeps getting caught going for a weapon. It's costing him. Whoa. Oh, oh, beautiful move by Hancock. Huge. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, putting together some nice combinations. I think he's been playing Street Fighter. <laughs> His life is a street fight. <laughs> oh, the bread was playing oh, possum. It was. Hancock took too long. Encounter of his own. Nice jawbreaker. And a big forearm. They both, both these wrestlers like the forearm. Mm. Oh boy, drop with meaning. He's getting tired though, Hancock. He's put a lot of work in so far. Yep. He's not used to working. <laughs> not legally. Is anyway. it, is what is that? He's won it. There oh, wow. Hanko Wong. All right. Wow. All right. My God. So, yes, Hanko Wong, fair and square. <laughs> and now, oh. yeah, I'll run it out. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the bread. Oh, oh, Brad Mas going crazy. That might be a suspension. We might not see the Brad Mas for a while. Oh boy. Oh, boy. oh my god. Oh my god. The scouts is not making many friends. Oh man. <laughs> now it is the question. Now we have one of the scouts with a title and two of them without one. <laughs> you know, it's gonna Hancock start to become, you know, acting too cocky now and things like that. It's gonna be another Beatles situation. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually a nice idea for something. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, wow. There you go. That's that was that. So Hancock confirms his Plim Plum Blueswear Championship. Now we've got uh, the Quad Skulls, Elliot and Jack Bull, up against CBT. We'll keep it family friendly for Rick viewers. <laughs> Cocky I and have Norida. to. I have to say that I'm starting to worry about Elliot. I think uh, this level of punishment every week is too much. <laughs> Who would you like behind you, Sheila or Space Cadet? I'm not, I'm not sure. That's a tough choice. <laughs> Under no circumstance, I would like to have a Space Cadet on my back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's... <laughs> uh, it be interesting to see if the, uh, the Quad Skulls are galvanized by Rick's big title win last night, of course, that they helped facilitate in the run-up on uh, the Monday Night Clause before. Yeah. Yeah, but they're taking on the best of the best now, aren't they, CBT? They're, but they're both on hot streaks, uh, Quad Skulls and CBT. So, yeah, we'll yes, see that's anything. Very interesting that Rick is part of Quad Skulls, but you rarely see him with them. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever watched them play uh, Deep Rock Galactic. That's very, very similar to how it is <laughs> when they're playing Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Um, CBT, of course, lost their titles, lost another match after that, but did win. Came back to winning ways and in style last week. Completely demolished PTK. Yeah. Also, PTK uh, collaborated big time to get defeated. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Taking the past turn tactic to a whole new level. Yeah, yeah fine. After uh, a bit of a full start to their career, the Quad Skulls have really found their footing in recent weeks. Once Rick was back from injury and they were a complete unit, they have started nailing out the wins. Yeah. <laughs> and paying a price in the broken bones for Elliot. <laughs> oh boy. You need new challenges, of course, for the glorious ones. They uh, thoroughly demolished Dressel Business last night. So, uh, yeah, no, yes. no apparent number one contenders at the moment. Absolutely, yeah, uh, they were sent packing. I mean, the glorious one using the tactic of dressing up to absolutely create massive, maximum levels of confusion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do both. 
<laughs> yeah, Coca Ball Torture with Sheila. <laughs> Yeah, Space okay. Cadet, the mastermind, staying out of the ring against CBT. Very good. Pretty, very pretty good. smart. And, pretty Elio smart. de starting again. <laughs> oh, nice uh, drop toe hold. Don't see that too often. Yeah, there could be a few ball shots. Let's hope that uh, quad skulls have uh, the dwarven armor on, particularly the, the cod piece. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it looks like they're missing a cog piece there, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah I'm not, not seeing anything too apparent in that region. Not that, yeah. <laughs> mm. I try to avoid looking at Elio's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can try not to, but... Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm doing it right now. Help. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Moradam, the classic brilliant tag teaming from uh, CBT. Early tag already. And the classic uh, quad skulls strategy, Elliot get beaten up. <laughs> yep. Oh. Wow, what a move. <laughs> oh, nice arm drag takedown from Elliot, though, on a comeback. Oh! Puts his fist through Moradam and manages the tag. Jack and here time. comes Jack Bull. Uh, Wanger was part of CBT uh, Ice Cream Matthew, but then they parted ways in a very violent way, which led to the glorious ones becoming the champions. So, wow! Oh, nice from Jabal so far, dominating Moridam. Great athleticism there. Yeah, Mori should. Have. That's, that's the mistake. You can dominate Moridan. <laughs> <laughs> he is cocky. Yeah, another great tag. Moradam only needing the one counter to go and quickly make the tag. That what is what made them such great champions. That and always finding all sorts of peculiar ways to win when it wasn't going their way. Yeah. Hanging out Jabble to dry. Oh, figure of four. Jabal in trouble. Oh, oh. Safe from his strength are his abs, not his legs. <laughs> yeah, it just punches <laughs> out of it. Normally you see somebody trying to reverse the uh, pressure, don't you? But he just punched his way out. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Counter after counter. This is high standard stuff. Nobody managing to get an upper hand. <laughs> oh, goes for the splash. <laughs> Look at this. Unbelievable <laughs> stuff. Oh, but here we go. Nice. Wiggles free. Into the CBT corner goes a jab ball, not where you want to be, but he reverses. And now changing to the color school as a corner. <laughs> oh, rev the down. Ref's down. Rev down. Careful now. Oh, what a speed by Jack Bull. Maybe too fast. Yeah, yeah missed. Just with the right hand after that. Oh, God. Uh oh Ooh. no, Jabal, oh, no! Oh, no looking bull! <laughs> oh, shattered dreams! The Texas bull went to become the Texas cow! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, how is he fighting back? <laughs> how? They do have the dwarven jock straps on after all. Yeah, maybe. Wait, Jack Bull, you have to remember you live in an uh, open carry state, so that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I 
in Balls McGinty. <laughs> Fantastic clothesline to the outside. Is he going to go for a tag, though, or is he going to go after him? Possibly I think, not. I think he got angry. Jack Bull got angry about the, that kick that he uh, uh, starts and stripes. He's getting so hyped. Maybe a little too hyped. Could have done with maybe doing a little bit more wrestling. Yeah. He's too busy shouting, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, comes back though with right hands of his own to answer Cocky's, but Cocky again getting the punches in. It. Oh man, elbow of a dawn. Brutal. That's pretty brutal. What's this? Slams his jaw off the apron. Hardest part of the ring. Yeah, you don't see that very often, but Jabbo with time to recover because Cocky completely out of breath on the outside. Oh, God. oh, Jack Bull showing the strength that he's famous for. Wow. What a maneuver. Oh, he's going up for the jumping jack splash. Wow, if this lands, Cocky's in all sorts of trouble. Mardan's going to have to get in there. <laughs> oh, no! oh, what a counter. What a counter. Could be it. Oh. Jabal fighting up. He hasn't got much left, but he refuses to stay down. Oh, the eye rake. <laughs> Kick to the head. Brutal. That'll do it. Where's Elliot? He is there. <laughs> Take Elliot that a ref. To get in the ref. Big mistake. More than is there. Elliot is down. This is complete madness. Oh, Jabal fighting back. He's got no partner in his corner, though. He desperately needs a tag, and there's nobody to tag. Space is going crazy. He's desperately trying to get Elliot up. <laughs> yeah, he's going trying crazy to on him. the outside. Yeah. Can't believe it. El uh, Space Carrier can't believe it. <laughs> Elliot is getting up. Space Cadet is it's working. He's rousing Elliot, and Jabal's doing all right in the meantime. Oh, another one of these. Brutal. Another spike tombstone. Yeah, unbelievable maneuver. Shoulder takedown from Cocky, though. Neither of these men have tagged in a very, very long time. Yeah, this is a war. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. no! Oh, <laughs> another one. Another one. Oh, yes, to be sure. Well. <laughs> yes, to be sure. Here comes the double jab. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Well, at least he's pretty much immune to any further. <laughs> STD, yes. <laughs> at least we won't have another again, calcium on our again. hands. <laughs> Moradam doing a great job of wiping out Elliot every time he uh, breaks up the pins. Yeah. And there's no one to tag. Jabal's trying to tag and there's nobody there. Oh, man. I need to counter to get some space. Space Cadet, the wrong side of the ring this time to wake up Elliot. <laughs> taking a suplex from Cocky. He's finally going to tag. Fresh man in the ring versus a really ruined guy. Jabal <laughs> Elliot through the rolling ringer. around. There's <laughs> oh. <laughs> only two. <laughs> well, Moradam could probably do with trying a move. Oh, oh the Space Cadet dropping the chair. Casually chair. Casually oh, chair there. <laughs> This is not oh. going to end well. This is not going well. Pray more than don't see the chair. Oh, Space Cadet always has a plan without fail. <laughs> the ref has not seen the chair yet. It's behind him. Oh! Oh, no. oh my god. Even the ref. The ref is absolutely disgusted. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Please let him tag. Oh, he <laughs> sees the chair. <laughs> That's the third one. <laughs> All three balls are gone. Now there's only the cock left. <laughs> oh! No, 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 <laughs> oh, but Elion comes in again. 
Elliot's paid for every time, but he's been great at disrupting the pins. He has. <laughs> Completely right. Cocky going after him, though. Not happy to just leave him be. Oh, man. More than getting ready to fly. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, beautiful move! Beautiful, beautiful move! He's killed him! The fans going crazy! There's the cover! Cocky's beating up Elliot! Oh! Oh my god, Molly Holmes Molly is still alive! Oh wow! That's one of the best counters I've ever seen in the GFW! Yeah, incredible! No doubt! And there's the spike tombstone, but Cocky's <laughs> ready this time! There's no Elliot to intercept! Not even going for the cover! <laughs> And Moridan doesn't seem very affected by the insane amounts of pain. <laughs> Most of this match has been Jabal versus Cocky. Yeah, Moridan's still relatively fresh. Oh, Elliot comes back to the corner. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. And we're going for the tag. How is he finding the strength? <laughs> And again! Here we go. Oh, oh he did trouble now. Boosh. Goodness me. Here comes Elliot, though, without mm. fail. Yep, Every right time. <laughs> More than staying down, Elliot. <laughs> or he's looking yep. at Space Cadet. Ref needs to get them out of there. Jabble not doing badly. Oh, he's going for a submission. This could be it. Mm. Elliot's in to stop Moradam. Oh, There's no Moradam. The oh, fights his way out. <laughs> what is this madness? This looks like a gas station in, in England. <laughs> <laughs> Double to the top. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's cost Will him it, earlier. Will it work this time? Will it work so this time? Tired. He's so No, look, Moradam's there. More than trying to stop him, Can't but Jack Bull is determined. He gets oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> What the fight? What the fight are we having here, gentlemen? Dirty Ooh. Goblin. Both men completely out. The ref could count them. Unconscious, he's finally going to make the tag. He's finally going to oh, make the tag. Yes. Elliot's in. Oh, yes, he did it. He does, Elliot. <laughs> Cocky makes the tag! It's the two freshmen! There's oh. nobody on the apron! This is it now! <laughs> Elliot, oh. no soul! <laughs> oh god! Oh! Brutal. Oh, Elliot's on absolute fire! Really Elliot's is. getting rowdy! That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Unless Sheila pops on the apron and she's not. Oh, how's he kicked out? Wow. Double back. Still no sign of cocky. Oh, another counter. Moridan was barely standing there as well, wasn't he? Yeah, really struggling. Oh, lovely headlock from Elliot. Hold on, could pass out here. The ref's checking. Still no sign of cocky. Get that chair, Spears. <laughs> Spears is pretty good with the chairs. He's done that a few times, hasn't he? <laughs> okay, yeah, cocky. Nobody does. else does it at all. Cocky finally returning to the apron. Whoa. Just oh, as Mordor gets down. completely wiped this could out. Be it. Yeah, rowdy kick. Chapel to intercept. Chapel to intercept. Oh. oh. He did as well. <laughs> oh, Elliot getting ready. Oh. One big move right now and it's over. I'm not sure that's enough. Wouldn't think so. No. Two and a half nearly though. Come on, Elliot. Come on, he's getting groundy. <laughs> oh, baby. He's feeling it. <laughs> Oh my yeah. word! Oh. 
too long. Somehow Moradan fighting back, but he's got no partner to help him. That's Sheila cheering him on. So far, Elliot's testicles untouched. <laughs> Not everybody can say that. <laughs> By anybody ever. <laughs> Got distracted oh, by more than got distracted. Doesn't, doesn't know which way to turn. Cocky's <laughs> back though, just in time. Elliot not even going for the pin. Oh, the pristine testicles of Elliot. Hurricane <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, Rana. Without trying to imagine. Oh, oh, oh there no. we go. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be no Elliot lost his maidenhood. <laughs> I was going to say, without trying to imagine them, you could just imagine the state of Oh, Jack small Bulls. package. Well, yes. It turns out he's Dude. got a small package! Oh, no! no. <laughs> nearly there! Nearly there! Jack Bull enters the ring! Oh man! This is brutal. Oh! oh Pussy! Oh, More than passed it open! Come brutal. on, Jack Bull, get the intercept! Oh, he missed oh. completely and Cocky got it! Wow! Man. Cocky clearly got the number of Jack Bull. Jack oh, Bull's be balls crazy. have been destroyed, but his brain's gone a bit there. He, he must be concussed. He completely missed Cocky, didn't he? He did. It was all over, but for that miss. Wiped out Cocky afterwards, but Moradan back on top in the ring. <laughs> Leading profusely. Hello, Stor. Oh. oh my word! Oh, problems here. Oh, good move, good move by Elliot. Absolute epic, this one. It really is incredible. This is absolute paper material here. No PTK, just deciding to lie on the floor. That could be it. It really oh, could. Oh, cheating! Yes. Oh, good no. move. Oh man, what a move. Mara down looking completely Mara. dead. Trying to tag. It doesn't Elliot even know where he is. Allowing Mara down to get the tag. He gets it. I don't know if anyone is considered <laughs> a fresh man anymore, but these two have had a little bit of a breather. Oh, oh my word. Uh, this is it. Yes. Third time lucky. Yeah. In the right corner now. Cocky reversed the first one. Moradam caught him the second time, but here we go, baby. Then one is the <laughs> time. <laughs> what the hell was that? He <laughs> missed. <laughs> <laughs> no, not again, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay, guys. There, there you go. The fourth one. The fourth one is the charm. <laughs> and now, yes, yes, he connects. Yes. <laughs> GG. There's no, there's no Moradam. That's it. <laughs> what a victory, what a victory for Quad Skulls. My god, the things we have seen here. This one goes down in the history books. Oh, and there goes a space cadet that has every move planned since the beginning. <laughs> he did his job, didn't he? He got the chair in the ring, he roused Elliot when he was unconscious, just in time for a save. I don't know. Ask uh, Jack Bull's balls what they what they think about it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I, I would, shit. but I'm not sure they exist any longer. Holy shit! What a what a match! Unbelievable. That was incredible. Wow. Well, now we've got. Good evening, little wrestlers. <laughs> yeah, what PTK can I do for you? Kfog versus Zetok. Zetok not happy at uh, PTK just lying down against CBT. Um, will this be the end of Dance Dance Revolution? Wow. Who knows? Could, could see the uh, the start of some incredible singles careers here. Both these guys with a lot of potential. Oh yes, Kifod uh, will do very good in the heavyweight division and Sito will be great in the Prim Pam Blue. 
but I think this is how Danish people solve their uh, problems. Not talking to each other, just hitting each other. <laughs> yep. Ah, there you go, K4 Tier. Jumpball's little balls. <laughs> Okay. Well, some Ready might be upset by uh, by Dance Dance Revolution split up, but PTK is happy as Larry. <laughs> he really is. And here comes Sidok the Day. And the fans are not very happy about that. No, apparently blaming Zetok for the split in the group, but I don't know. PTK definitely let him down last week in my book. Tell you what PTK has been holding back, and that's that this awesome entrance music. Yes, yes. Absolute poetry movement here. <laughs> okay, these two know each other perfectly, so this is going to be a very, very complicated fight for both of them. Yeah, they both taught each other everything they know. Rivers of memories crossing their minds now. The happy days, the good days coming to this. Boy. Well, it looks like it looks like PTK means business now, doesn't it? Yes. Well, he, he well, often is the fastest be... starter. He's he's powerful, isn't he? But uh, but he runs out of steam sometimes. Yes. The thing is, can Zetok survive until he runs out of steam? <laughs> He certainly ran out of steam against CBT, didn't he? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, hook it up. <laughs> Big mistake there. It was. Problems. Problems for Sito here, but managed to counter. If someone could just get them to look at their Instagram, surely they'd get back together. <laughs> Of uh, <laughs> PTK telling. Fuck's Rick. <laughs> you killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. PTK going for the early score, but Seto is not ready for that yet. Shrugs it off a little PTK. Yeah, can't that. get him down. The power of PTK too much, and him hulking up a little bit more uh, intimidating than Zetox's version, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> yeah. This is where Zetox needs to really start clinging in there. He will get a chance later on if he lasts that long. Brutal treatment by uh, PTK and now Setok doing the same. And uh, not enjoying this one. Boo's raining down around the arena. 
well, it's, I think they're just sad to see that it's come to this, isn't it? Dance Man's Revolution turning on each other. It's a tragic day. Oh, yes. You think I can't believe it? <laughs> Clearly both of them want to finish it quick. Yeah, just got to hope. But they don't want to lose either. <laughs> the, their pride is on the line. Yeah. Just hope they shake hands afterwards and put it all behind them, eh? Oh no, oh this is it, no he counters it! You they know the each other too well, they know each other too well, they know all the secret moves and everything, now Sito getting ready. That's it, you called it right at the start. Oh! Jesus Christ almighty! Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow! How did Zito do that? Goodness me, doesn't even get him the win, but yeah, legendary power. Tell you what, I respect that pose a little bit more now. <laughs> oh. oh, and PTK says anything you could do, <laughs> I could do so much better. This has been very even, hasn't it? Very back and forth. Yes, yes, uh, PTK has the size advantage, but Sito clearly has the style advantage. Look at that moonwalk. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit too much back and not enough forth there. <laughs> Softening the arms for a while now. Wonder if we'll see a submission from Zetok. <laughs> yeah, probably minimum weight. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh my! Oh my goodness! What? Uh oh. Oh god! It's the, oh song. my god! <laughs> oh! Oh! Brutal! PG. Absolutely brutal! And we never saw Zetok again. <laughs> oh boy. Ref taking a while to get down. Oh, by Zetok, just enough time. How on earth do you kick out of a moonsault from PTK? <laughs> oh, oh, another one. Oh my goodness oh, me. The PTK bomb. Z talk about to go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Two, three, and that's it. Key PTK, key force, that's it. Prime time Kevin established dominance in the dance tank revolution. But well, at what price? At what price? He had a point, point to prove, didn't he? He wanted to say, look, this is what I could do if my nest quick isn't under attack. <laughs> yep. Oh, she talk living. Good evening, little wrestlers. What can he I do? He feels I'm fairly treated, and I have to agree with him more or less. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe, maybe that'll settle the differences. You know, after that, after that, or maybe they'll split up. We'll have to, we'll have to see how it progresses. Oh dear. Now we've got a, a we? just a triple threat match between three glorious competitors. Yeah, three three of the best. Dimmy, recent world champion, uh, Chunter beat the the Wem Dope champion last week on Monday Night Claw, and and Kaz has has won all sorts, hasn't he, over the years in the in the JFW. Recently, a Wem Dope champion himself. Yeah. Do we crash. do we have a Wem Dope title match tonight, Jim? We don't seems know. That after the... Seems everybody's been a wind of champion but me. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, the it was replaced by the uh, by the Plimpon Pluserweight, wasn't it? Being uh, was made uh -huh. so that that let that let Volk off the hook basically. Didn't have to defend it tonight. Plus, back to back nights defending it is a bit extreme anyway, isn't it? So yeah, out. fair enough. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend. The seagull may be getting released. <laughs> to be honest. Here it comes, Calcium. Oh, Jack Napier. <laughs> Thanks. The man that played more games of a story group brawl in the Blood Brawl 2 community, and that's saying a lot. It is, yeah, he's played more than <laughs> me, yeah. Unbelievable amount of games from. 
And uh, how's he doing in the BBSL this season? Um, he's played some games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's second in, in his group behind Andy Dale. Oh, nice. So, yeah. One win, two draws, undefeated. Um, but yeah, in Storybook Brawl, let's see how many games he's played. 530. Oh, no. Okay, he's played less than me overall. No, that was season one. Okay. Overall, combined, Calcium's played 832, and I've only played 766. So there you go. Wow. Calcium number one. Um, and happy Monday to you two, and everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, here comes Chanter, the most hated coach in Blood Bowl 2. Another big tall order to fill. <laughs> Poor old Chanter. <laughs> Lovely person, absolutely nightmare on the pitch of Blood Bowl. That's true. Okay. You know, when you are making it, you know, when you reach the big time, when people talk about you in other people's games. <laughs> when they say, oh, that's a classic chanter move. <laughs> and here comes the man that keeps his one of five a day in a cage. <laughs> he, is. he is the banana cager. <laughs> and that's the bottom line because Michelle says so. There you go. No arguments can be made. <laughs> Try with the command for the dimmyception there. <laughs> this is uh, three three of the greats, isn't it? I'm I'm really excited to see who comes out on top here, and uh, you know none of them exactly on a trajectory at the moment, though. So uh, the winner of this could suddenly be propelled forwards. Absolutely. Oh, tells you, be light, uh, give me. And Chunter quietly standing in the corner wisely. Well, it does get caught when he comes in. Can't blindside Kaz. Oh, wild punches from Chunter, but finally catches up to Dibby. Waited for his moment now on top. Suplex <laughs> 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 from Kaz. I'm sure we'll see the mixed martial arts coming out soon, although right now Chunter taking it to him. Oh, there it is, the high kick. Oh, Dimmy slaps the Chunter away, though. Yeah, shrugging off the right hook. You can tape your up, you can take your uphill blocks and shove them. <laughs> oh my goodness, Dimmy! <laughs> oh, Dimmy, that was a mistake. <laughs> well, Kaz though with a crucial miss. Oh wow, Dimmy feeling it. It could be it. Oh no, Dimmy! Oh, wow, that was amazing. NFL style tackle there from Kaz. Impressive stuff. Oh, huge. Oh, what a kick by Kazu. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh and it's triple threat. I could, that really could be it. <gasps> wow. Thankfully, due to the vasectomy, Kaz immune to the low blows. <laughs> and now Dimi, king of the ring. <laughs> wow. Wow, ma 
massive right hook from Dimi on Chunter. Yeah, Dimi, hit the yellow thing, hit the banana. <laughs> Tried it again though, and uh, this time Chunter wise to it. And wise to Kaz as well. This seems to be Chunter's moment. Yeah, the, going for the crystal walls of Chunterino, but as he was struggling with him, Dimi breaks it up. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear Kaz. <laughs> Thought he was in streets of rage. <laughs> Casual kick to the face of the invisible man. <laughs> <laughs> when did Chunter turn gold? Oh, a few weeks ago. About a month ago, maybe. Um, he's ditched Finney. Hasn't been seen with Finney. And he's been solo. Gone solo. The golden boy of the JFW. Oh, nice roll through from Dimmy. Gets caught with the kick, though. And down he goes. Dimmy. Yeah, catches him right back. Dimmy's now a no legend idea. in storybook brawl, you know. Yeah, yeah, he's honestly, he's, he is. Jokes aside, <laughs> getting actually better at storybook brawl. He's playing pretty well now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Brutal from Chunter. What a comeback he's making. Yeah. Chunt is mythic at Storybook Brawl now. He, he made over four games a day, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Quite a few of us making the uh, the tournament next month. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? There, there's a, there's going to be about a thousand people in it, uh, they reckon. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and I think a lot of people like just won't bother accepting the ticket and that, will they? Because oh, the MMA kick. Oh. Good night, Chunter. Oh! oh. Chandler managed to roll the three plus there. <laughs> oh, oh Dimmy gets Kaz. Oh, no. Dimmy no. versus Chunter. Go for the crab. Oh, gets it. <laughs> Oh my god, what are we seeing here? Oh man. Timmy the oh. is out. Fuck off, Timmy. Gets caught again. Oh, congrats, Steve, and uh, good luck over the top hat. Oh, there it is, the, the, the top rope stunner thing from there. Uh, Stratisfaction in it from Timmy, it's what it is. Yes. Chunter's taking some damage. He's got him! Yeah, that'll do it. Timmy, Timmy wins. <laughs> Timmy seeing his comeback. He's coming back for the title shot. Oh, man. He eliminated both, didn't he? He did. Dominant performance from Timmy. We see the low blow. <laughs> but, uh, got him on top initially. Never looked back from there. He's got four in his sights. Oh, no, sorry. Good, uh, Johnny B. Good at his side. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe Rick. Who knows? Good, the brand good, split hasn't good. happened yet, has it? You know, he's he's free. Good lord, no! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine losing to Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it has happened to some people. <laughs> it has. <laughs> Here is your winner, the disaster. <laughs> <laughs> disaster is right. <laughs> I seem to recall that Rick Reckless had some uh, scathing insults for, for Dimmy that he disguised as a compliment or tried to pass on as a compliment and I think Dimmy was irate, so yeah. Maybe it, Dimmy, Dimmy will be coming for he'd snipe him in, uh, in Blood Bowl, but maybe that was a double bluff. Maybe it's the JFW in which he's coming at him. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> What's that one? Right, oh boy, now we've got... Um... <laughs> yeah, exactly, try, yeah. <laughs> That's the worst part about losing to Dimmy. He will never, ever, ever, ever let you forget <laughs> again. <laughs> but now it's more tag team action. We've got North and South taking on North and German <laughs> with dust hats. Yep. 
Earlier, we had two of the best tag teams in the JFW trying to establish themselves as contenders for the title. Now it's time for two of the worst. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean... I didn't disagree, but <laughs> yeah, we're <what's> wrong. <laughs> Bro, uh, no, that that sounds have been the been the champions three times. So you know they've definitely got the pedigree there, but they're going through a bit of a barren spell now. Lingar is not very happy, is he, with with Ori? And I I think that severely affects their results. Yeah, I mean, making up every single Monday, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem, you know. Lean Gary's trying to watch the election results on his TV, and then whoops, he's wrestling. <laughs> I've got a couple of lads here, I've got a couple of friends, loving every moment. What an entrance. After the, uh, the sadness of the Dansk Dank Revolution situation, doesn't this just warm your heart? <laughs> Well, with a combined weight of 511, we know who's putting the 500 and who's putting the 11. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, baby, there's the love. <laughs> nah, I, I hate to say it, but yeah, you know what? With with no number one contenders for the Glorious One titles, if they somehow got a win tonight, they'd be in the picture. I wouldn't have been left in sausage and bean melts, oh baby. Oh, wouldn't it be amazing if one day he just summoned someone else? By accident. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty yeah. great. <laughs> Lee Gary's wife. <laughs> <laughs> they, they'd swap seats for the first time whilst having dinner. <laughs> he teleports the dinner. <laughs> But no, once again, the spell works. Ori Lenses never rolls a one. <laughs> I was thinking of making Merkel, actually. <laughs> also, Sturgeon. Someone, someone did artwork of, of the Sturgeonator. <laughs> I thought about oh making the Sturgeonator. Sturgeon, Merkel, and Theresa May in a triple threat would be incredible. <laughs> it would be pretty good, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, they've got the badassery of a cowboy and the magic of a wizard. Can they finally put it together and get a run going? Like you say, they've definitely got the pedigree. They're incredible wrestlers, but they have struggled to function as a unit in recent weeks. <laughs> this is this is really the litmus test because if you lose to North and South, <laughs> then you're really in trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, there it is the, the, the it's the guy who does Jimmel painted, isn't it? That's that's who it is. You know? <laughs> the Sturgeonator. <laughs> Pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> good old Nicola. There you go. <laughs> hey. Lingari straight in. <laughs> Using the wizard Not before the match even starts, that's a lesson Try could learn. Ansi <laughs> 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 not in his comfort zone here. Much, uh, much happier making the pin after Descotti's done the work. I'm sadly not as good as uh, I'm sadly not as good as Jim will paint it, Steve Marty, but yeah, I'll, I will paint things eventually, very soon. In fact, very soon. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get back into the art now. Here we go. Look at that! What a mover! 
Here comes the big guy. Say whatever you want about them, but they have a fantastic teamwork. <laughs> they got great team spirit, haven't they? You know, they 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 want to do their best for each other, and that does get you an extra ten percent equity in my book. And the big guy here, Descott, he really can do some damage, but right now he's taking it. Yep. Oh, it doesn't take him long, though, to get the upper hand against Dory. Yeah. Nice start. Oh! oh. <laughs> brutal. Absolutely brutal by Scotty there. Randomize <laughs> the equity. <laughs> That really tickled out the miss, I remember. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Takes Ori's head off and uh, no chance to tag either. Ansi doing a good job. We go, but I need to make a save here. Nice block by Ori. Whatever he's got in his forearms there, using it really, really well to protect himself. For some reason doesn't tag though, and in trouble again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That was great! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> so there you go, prick! Nancy <laughs> slapped like the little bitch that he is. And Nancy has to leave the ring in complete humiliation. <laughs> <laughs> that was too perfect, wasn't it? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that happen to bloody Danny Dyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't want to count out win. Oh boy. Oh my word. Takes the head clean off Ori. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the old wizard man was called a magician over fifty by some random dude in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty working absolute wonders here, pummeling Ori. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, going for the three amigos. He is. Ferdinand Shearer and Espria. Glorious. He remembers when Newcastle weren't shit. <laughs> 1997. You mean back when they could nearly win stuff? Yeah, back, back when they blew 12 point leads in the top of the league. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, package pile driver! Ooh. Lee Gary has to make the save here, or he's done. He is. He does. Yes, he does. Oh my god. Oh boy. Unfortunately, <laughs> Antti failed to make Lean Gary really pay for the interference, and Ari's going to have a chance to tag now as a result. Mm. There it is. Those little things that are the really world class tag teams don't mess up. Quite sure what Descartes was doing there. Not surprised he got countered. <laughs> oh, no strength from Lee Gary. Descartes too big. <laughs> oh, God, that clip's amazing, night, Dean. It's so good the way he just backs up and then tags out in, like, shame. It's <laughs> fucking amazing. Yes, absolutely glory. <laughs> <laughs> You can just imagine like Danny Dyer doing it as well, can you? Like a film or something. Be like, hey, bow. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, oh Ansi teaching Lee Gara not to disrespect him. <laughs> oh, look at this. You gonna slap me? This is what happened. Yeah. Oh, oh brutal. <laughs> There's the, there's the Discord burglar talking. Oh, Lingari back in control though. Samoan drop. Brutal. Oh, the old walk, oh. walking stinger splash. <laughs> Devastating. Scotty, confident Anti can kick out, and he does. I'd never be confident that Ansi could kick out. <laughs> no. I wouldn't be confident Ansi knew what day of the week it was. <laughs> I'm not sure he can kick his boxer shorts off. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Scorpion death drop? Yeah. Yep. It's got you there to save, though. What's Ori got to say about it? Not very much. Mm. Oh, <laughs> gives him a shot though. It does. Parting gift. Mm -hmm. Tosses him out of the ring. No. Oh, <laughs> Anthony going to hurry. That could be a mistake. <laughs> or maybe not. Oh. Holy moly. <laughs> Just ignoring uh, Gareth as if he's not even there. Eventually pays the price. Oh, but his back came out. His back's gone. His back's gone. Oh, wow. Anthony just 2v1ing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and see paying the price of ignoring Lingari again. Here we go. The big lads in. Oh, that's crazy. That's a great right? manoeuvre, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Are we dropping down to have a quick word with uh, with Lingari? This looks great as well, doesn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. Third time he's hit that. Yeah. Oh my word. But can he put Lean Gary away? Oh, he's, he's running out of steam. He's put so much into it. Oh, this might go. do it though. Package power driver. Oh. Or he's going to have to find that magic. There's no way this is getting kicked out of. Oh, so, Ansi! So. Ansi! Oh. oh no! He did oh, kick so oh, so oh, my god! What agility! <laughs> what the hell? What he's doing? He lost the plot! <laughs> oh. Wow, I can't believe I can't believe that, like... I mean, he was knackered, wasn't he, Ori Lensis? And Ansi got there in time, and then somehow he got kicked out. Yeah, I can't. I, I really can't believe Lynn Garrett kicked out. That was amazing from Ansi. He deserved the win. Oh, the fourth time! Oh, oh Monty. Still no worry. Lynn Gary, though, with <laughs> a second win. Oh, wow, Lingari back at it. Ansi coming in to intercept him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think he did a cheeky tag. Did he? Oh, didn't even see it. Did he tag the back of him? I don't know. Look like that. Uh, the ref has lost all control. <laughs> who knows who the legal man is? Oh, oh Tombstone. Tombstone power driver. Who's the legal man here? God knows. Lean Gary doesn't, doesn't, even know. Gary doesn't know. know. Lean Gary doesn't know. Lean Gary doesn't know. I think, yeah, it's Yes, it was Ansi. It was Ansi did the tag. Wow. Scorpion and death drop. This is it. The Scotty in position to save. Oh, he does. Wow. Oh, oh, oh my God. Friendly fire. No, or was it a mistake? He bloody hates him. <laughs> I think that's me. it. That's it. He's tired. The spell is breaking. Lingari is recovering. That, that's his it. will. That's it. <laughs>
that's it. It's this kind of thing that costs them the wins week in, week out. Yeah. They've got the ability, they just don't have the teamwork. Yeah, Lean Gary was there enjoying some curry verse and pommers, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> gotta fight these two assholes. <laughs> Oh, the cheating! Oh! So oh, he's nice. there. <laughs> no nonsense. Half crab! For about a second. <laughs> the twig legged guy. I guess you mean. Uh, Ansi. Oi! Oh! That twig leg has just got a massive shot to the jaw. Oh, oh, I think I this is it. Gary. I think our is done. <laughs> Scotty coming to finish the work. Okay. Literally just pitted him. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Two and three quarters. Come on, to Scotty. You got this. Oh. <laughs> Dirty moves from Aurelensis. What a country. <laughs> the country wizard. And it's the 150k dream. Is this it for Descotti? Oh, come on, Descotti. Fight it, mate. No! Oh, Descotti always having breathing problems. <laughs> wow. Well, Anansi is very angry. He was so close. It was a fantastic fight, but the last hats came on top. <laughs> Despite the dissension in the ranks, their their ability told. Last hats moving Seems on. Seems that the Orelinsis the spell, the Stockholm syndrome, is starting to wear off. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe it was just miscommunication. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah. Big win, big win for the uh, Das Hats. Well, there's a shake of hands. Yeah, it's sorted. Finally, uh, Lingari can go back home. Probably <laughs> take him a couple of days to go back. Yeah. Must be tired of having to to pay for the PCR test at the airport. <laughs> He teleports you there. Make your own way back, mate. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> That'd be really, that would really suck. Well, now we've got the new, the new extra arms belt champion, Rick Reckless, versus Trific 1K. Is it Trific 1 or is it just tri Trific Kick? Um, it's Trific Kick. Trific Kick. The current. Kick. The current CCL champ. Unbelievable, Jeff. I thought it was Trific 1 Trick. Yeah, he's now he's Trific 2 Trick now, isn't he? He, he is. Yes, he is. He trick, yes. his name. Yeah, he can, he can win with a team of Strength 4. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Strength 4 monsters and super fast uh, super skinks. And he can also win with uh, Claw Regen on everybody. And uh, Movement 9, Edge 4, Strength 3, cheating player. <laughs> <laughs> so that's impressive resume. Yes, yes, and he won playing with uh, Flesh Golems, you know, a uh, new tactic from uh, Necro coaches using all positionals. <laughs> yeah. But no, he is great, obviously. Just joking. Yeah, he's really good. Pick up the small package. Yeah, trying his small package. I always kind of forget what he looks like below the waist. The entrance as well. <laughs> He's the king of min max, isn't he? He gets the most out of what little he's got. <laughs> oh, dear, CJ. 
nicht mehr fahren. <lacht> And here comes showing off the bed, the Bloodborne Jesus, Rick Wrestling. After conquering his fears and demons. Ready to face whatever life throws in his general direction. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel bad. It is Tom Sonic, well done. Servers can eat his games. You can get dice to a draw, draw by Jimmy Fantastic, <laughs> and he can lose to Vermeer in every pre show, <laughs> but he is the champion. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point, Nine Demon, yeah. That's got to be a stinky belt by now. Spent so <laughs> long around the waist of Night Demon. Wow. Tries a big lad, isn't he? He's a big lad. Six foot six, I think. Wow. Fast start as well. Yeah, being so tall, the small parts look smaller. <laughs> he does have that small package, always ready to use it for a cheeky win. Back and forth so far, oh. and uh, here comes a cannon from Rick, knee to the face. Oh. Wow, not even a one kill. It's been by Rick, but it's all mind games at this point. Rick probably exhausted after his Iron Man uh, match yesterday, so Trific taking advantage of that. Not working very yeah. well, I have to say. Amazing that we've even got Rick wrestling tonight after that, wasn't it? One of the all-time classic JFW matches. Yeah. But hey, he's the champ and he's going to come out every, every Monday night. Wow, we don't see the splash from Rick too often, but he connects. It, it was, wasn't it? And from what I've seen, far better than the uh, main event of that pale imitation of the JFW WWE's uh, Extreme Rules. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was. Hello, Goliath. You won. You won last night, yes, but didn't didn't haven't fought tonight. Well, uh, night off for sure from Goliath Games. Epic victory last night. Yeah, I don't. I think it's one word of saying that it was a long, long fight. <laughs> <laughs> it was a slog. It sure was. I don't think either Pepper Biscuit or or Goliath Games would have been in any any state to have a fight after that. Oh yeah, Night Demon. <laughs> oh, oh, you are terrific. Side <laughs> Russian leg sweep though keeps the control. His turn to make Rick kick out. Oh, fantastic punch by Riga now. Like Russian leg sweep in control, Rick. Amazingly, after yeah, as you say, they got unbelievable match last night. Yeah, yeah, it looks to be tries even here, and you would think that he'd struggle a little bit. Yes, also Trivik hasn't used the wizard jet. Big mistake, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, the Rick roll. <laughs> Showed us it on Sunday, and now again, anything that you throw at try, he's got a counter for it. Incredible. Getting tired, but well deserved. And now wants to finish this. Oh boy! The kick would he? <laughs> oh. Could be it. Or the one that kick really that could, could be. Couldn't... <laughs> 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 Rick with his incredible fighting spirit so rarely goes down 
when mere mortals would. Yep. Never gives up. Oh never my surrenders. word, though. Right to the heart of Rick Reckless. Oh, Jeff oh, Higgins was sitting there. <laughs> he's used to trimming TV, now he's trimming ring, <laughs> ring posts. <laughs> Turnbuckles, whatever. Something like that. At least one time in 30, we see them actually use it. Yep. Oh, God. Is there, one in, 36? Is there one in 36 of the GFW? <laughs> the Tarmagel. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. And here Rick goes, Rick! Oh, oh but the referee, the referee, the referee stopped the hit, but now... Amazing! Holy but shit. now oh. he can't get a pin! Absolute chaos uh, here! <laughs> He's going for another one! <laughs> <laughs> another one! <laughs> this is incredible! The whole set. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. It's a very dangerous ring here! Oh, Chris Wick's powerbomb though! Oh, terrific in trouble here. Is he going to hit the turnbuckle? Oh. Could be it. No. But if Rick can nail him with a flip me or a Rick roll. Got a thing. Oh, here we go. Top rope. Will he have Bro. the purchase, though? Oh, oh so ring good. roll, and uh, this must be it. Woo. And that's it, the rig. Woo. <laughs> Rick proving that cheaters only win sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what an ending for an absolutely epic night we have here tonight. One of the most impressive Monday Night Claw in recent memory. Yeah, some unbelievable matches, weren't they? Holy moly. Particularly the uh, Quad Schools one, wasn't it? Oh, yes. That, yeah, that was incredible. <laughs> and a good effort. A good effort from, uh, from Try there, but uh, yeah, you know, not quite up to the challenge of uh, Rick on form. Jeffrey probably tired of being celebrating and the proms in the high schools, in the local high schools, the fact that he's a Bullet Bowl 2 champion. <laughs> yeah, Night Demon yet to be seen where Night Demon will go now, what his next move is after losing the title. I wouldn't like to be in the target of Night Demon now, whatever he wants to do now. No. Yeah, you've got to think that Goliath's going to be able to shoot for one of the titles, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see what Pepper Biscuit and Night Demon do after after their losses at Extreme Rules. Well, there you go. That was that was Monday Night Claw. Thank you so much, Rick Reckless and Fimea. Absolutely glorious. So it was a pleasure to be here, to be part of the GFW universe. It is, it is. Thank you so much for having us, Jim. That was another classic. Thanks very much for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.